I downloaded some files from uh, some data from uh, Kegel uh, from this particular contest for the Center for Policy and Equity, Center for Policing Equity. I unzipped the data and it gave me uh, five, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, folders. Inside of this folder, there's uh, this particular uh, file that I'd like to look at right here. Now notice that the file is a comma-separated variable file. I tr so when I try to read it into R, I will want to use the read dot comma separated variable uh, function. And if inside of that I choose file dot choose that function, then when I run this, well, let me show you. Let's run that one line. Then it pulls up my directory. Of course, your directory might look different than mine. And then I can hunt around and find where that was. It was in downloads. It was in uh, this one, I think. It was in this one, the educational attain attainment. And I was interested in that file right there. So now, now that file has been read into, uh, whoops, let me pull this so that you can see it better. Sorry. So when we ran that line, then R gave me my directory and let me hunt around and find the file inside the directory. Now that's been stored in X. Let's just work down here in the console for a few minutes and see what we've got. Let's look at the number of rows that are that are in X. There's 530 of them. Uh, the number of columns, there's 771. Uh, okay, so now we're, now we're ready to, well, let's look at the head of X, the first six rows. These, these heading names are really, really large. Okay, so I what I'm trying to say is that this file choose will allow you to bring records in um, and be able to look at them without having to chase around setting the operating file directory and so on. Pretty useful for exploring where your data is. Pretty useful for exploring where your data is.